Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here's me starting another video with wet hair because I've literally just jumped out of the shower ready to film this tutorial for you all. But in today's video, you've seen by the thumbnail, we're going to be turning ourselves into this kind of marble-esque statue kind of thing. I had a really beautiful wig styled by Flash Wigs on Instagram and it's this beautiful grey Marie Antoinette wig. And I've always seen people do this like marble effect on Instagram, basically. And I have been so scared to try it because I was like, I'll never be able to do that. And I thought, you know what, today I'm going to sit down and I'm going to conquer this marble technique. I have no idea how to do it, so I'm just going to kind of wing it, so to speak. But I just thought we can kind of do it together. You can see how I approach things. We'll be doing a little bit of some body work, but you'll be able to see the techniques that I use for like body painting on my face. And then you'll be able to use that for when you do your own bodies. But yeah, so if you would like to see how I create this marble-esque goddess statue, then keep on watching. So step number one is primer, and I'm gonna use XX Revolution Cloud Complexion. Now this isn't out yet, but it um, comes out in July, I think. But it's this really beautiful primer, which makes your skin so smooth. But I'm just gonna put this anywhere where my pores are a little bit enlarged, and I just want a smoother, cleaner canvas. So for the grey skin, we're going to be using the Give Face Cosmetics Cream Palette and I'm going to be taking the black and then I'm going to mix it with my House of Glam Dolls White Creative Base to make a custom grey shade and I'm just going to buff that all over my face. Now we're going to cream contour and I'm just going to use the black and pick it up on my finger and just lightly start to pat it in where I would contour. And then because I'm not like putting in a big amount, it will just dilute itself down with the gray and it will just give me like a nice sculpted face. And then I'm just gonna blend the rest in. To highlight my face, I'm gonna use the Cover Effect Power Play White Concealer. And I'm just gonna dot a little bit around just to kind of lift my face a little bit. I don't wanna do that massive white under eye, so we're just gonna lightly place it and just build it up as I go. Just gonna buff all that in with my sponge. So my brows are done, base is complete. Now I'm gonna do the eyes and I'm gonna use the Badger Black Base from P. Louise, and it's just the exact same formula as all the skin tone ones, but this one is jet black. And because I'm wanting to do this kind of like intense black smoke hair with like this beautiful spotlight, I'm just gonna go straight in with like a black, like cream product because it'll just be way easier to get that intense black eye. I'm just gonna use like a fluffy, dense brush like this just to pack it on the inner corner and the outer corner. Then I'm gonna take like a small fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of tickle out the edges and blend it into the gray. So for eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using my Alexa Stone palette and I'm gonna be using the black here and this gray row to kind of do the eye look, but first we're gonna pack the black on with this little dense brush over that black base that we just applied. With this fluffy brush and a lighter gray shade, we're just gonna buff out the edge. Then with a little fluffy brush like this, I'm gonna take the lightest gray shade and really build in my socket line and diffuse it out the outer tail. Now back to the original fluffy brush and we're gonna take the black and we're gonna lightly diffuse it into where we've just smoked those areas out. So it's like a real smoky, hazy blend.
Now I want my outer eye here to be nice and sharp, so we're just gonna use this little angle brush and a tiny, tiny amount of the P. Louise white eyeshadow base, and we're just gonna lightly clean it up. Now you wanna repeat that process, but underneath, leaving the middle of the eye free to match up with this one. So just go in with the black base, and then set and blend out with a black and gray eyeshadow. So on my bottom waterline, I've just put this little square in and my camera wasn't filming, so sorry. But we're gonna do the same on my lid here. I'm just gonna take the P. Louise white base and just start patting it in with your finger to kind of create this um, blank section in the middle. And that's where we're gonna put the glitter. Like that. And now we're gonna apply the glitter. Okay, so we'll do the inner corner first and I'm gonna use this beautiful pigment here from Peaches and Cream called Hollywood. And I'm just gonna put that all on the inner corner. Like that. And then for the lid, we're gonna use Hello Sunshine from Lit, but I'm gonna use it in a size three and a size four. They're the exact same color, but the glitter is just cut differently. So one's finer and one's chunkier. So if you look here, this is number four, the chunky one, and then this is number three here, and then they do a number two, which is even finer. So I'm just going to take the NYX Glitter Primer, well it's not, it's a pigment primer, but I prefer it to the glitter primer, and I'm just going to massage it into my hand to get it nice and warm, and then I'm going to pat it onto the lid like this, and then with my finger, I'm going to pick up that glitter and just apply it. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that. <gasps> oh my god. And then we're just gonna apply the finer one underneath my eye. But because the eyeshadow base underneath my eye is wet, you don't have to put any pigment primer down, but just be careful not to get it in your waterline. So both eyes are done. Now, before we set the face with powder, I've got a picture of marble up here on the screen. I don't know if you can see it. I just Googled marble and I found this picture on Pinterest and it's just like a marble slate, I think. But I want to map out majority of like the lines on my face when my foundation is wet so that if I don't like them, I can remove them and they're not set in there. Because if I powder my face and then do it with eyeliner, girl, they will not move. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the black P. Louise base and then I've got two different size fine brushes. One is the Anastasia Swish brush and the other is a Peaches PC46. So I'm gonna use them and we're just gonna start mapping out all the marble lines. So this is just like the start. Obviously we're gonna add way more details, but yeah, now we're gonna set the whole face with the RCMA No Color Powder. And now we're just gonna go over everywhere where we contoured, but with gray eyeshadows, just to really sculpt and give it that really harsh kind of kind of vibe. So, so to contour, I'm gonna use my Alexa Stone palette again, and we're gonna be using these gray shades here, and maybe a smidgen of black. I don't know, we're just gonna see how it goes. So, so far you can see we've built up like a nice amount of depth and I've just used these two here so far. Then with a smaller brush, I'm gonna start using this one here. And then we're gonna do the tiniest bit of black just in here. So all we've got left to do now is the lip and to add in all the detail on the marbling. So we'll do the lip first and I'm gonna be using Cement Liquid Lipstick from Lime Crime. Oh yeah, perfect. And I wanna ombre the lip ever so slightly. So I can't find my Drug Lord from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I'm just gonna use some of my white foundation. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, and I mean like the tiniest amount. 
and then I'm just going to really work that product into the bristles and then yeah there we go. okay so now we just want to add some kind of haziness around the black lines before we go in with a black liner and then the gold pen. So I'm going to use like a little dense brush and a little fluffy brush and then I'm just going to go between the grey shades and the palette and I'm just going to add depth to like some of the parts of the the, 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 the black lines to create haziness. So just dust it around and make it look all foggy and murky. Once you're happy with all the shading and you like how it looks, we're gonna go in and do the final two steps, which is putting in the black line work and then we're gonna paint in the gold. And the gold is what's gonna really bring it together. But you wanna get like a couple of eyeliners which have different tips on them, like different fineness, because the randomness of the thickness of the black will really help. So I've just got the NYX Epic Ink Liner, House Labs Liner, and then the Marc Jacobs Liquid Liner. Obviously, if you've got one, if you have a steady hand, you can make it work. I've just got a couple of these available to me, so I'm gonna make my life easier and use them. But I'm gonna start out by using the NYX Epic Ink Liner and kind of getting as much done with that as I can. And all you wanna do is, is just basically re all the lines that you did earlier, but not clean and crisp, like make them nice and bitty and jot it around, but I'll show you how to do that now. You see here how I made like the line a little bit bigger? and then super fine. That's what you want to do all the way through the lines just to make it look like that really weird cracked effect from the marble. Now we're gonna add the funnest part of the whole look, which is all the gold embellishments. Now I've got two colors of the Miron metallic powder. Now, I don't really like gold and this is too brassy, but this is like a pinky, silvery rose gold. So I was like, if I put like two parts of this and one part of this, I should get like a more calmed down gold, hopefully. And all I'll be doing is I'll be mixing those two powders with the Miron mixing liquid to get like a liquid eyeliner basically. So I've mixed my gold here in this little palette and I've just got it on the back of my brush and you can just see now that it's just gonna create that metallicness. And then now you're just gonna go in and just kind of add gold hues in and around all the black and the shade and that you've done and it's really it's honestly really up to you where you put them, just have fun with them, make them smaller, larger, just like you did with a liner, and yeah, just chuck them on your face. And there you have it. I'm gonna use all the techniques we used here on the face, to complete my body, and then I'll be back with the final look. And here's the finished makeup look. I literally just went off camera, did the usual lashes, lenses, jewelry. These earrings were three pounds from AliExpress. AliExpress does the best and the cheapest jewelry ever. And then this beautiful wig here is from Flash Wigs on Instagram. He does all my bigger pieces. So he did my wig that I wore for my Juno Birch video and he's done this one. And he currently has five more wigs of mine that he's currently transforming into these bigger pieces so that I can bring these crazier makeup looks and really give you the whole package. So this look, we're gonna call it the Marble Antoinette because I'm marble and I've got a Marie Antoinette and styled wig. So that's very fitting. 
But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this look and this tutorial. And one also thing before anyone says anything, I haven't glued down my lace just because I don't want to get grey face paint into the lace and have to clean it out. Yes, I'm being lazy, but when I just wear my wigs at home for like looks for YouTube and I'm not actually going out of the house in them, I don't glue them down just because I can't bother cleaning the lace. So now that we've cleared that up, stop looking at my lace. But yeah, I guess that concludes today's video. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let me know what other tutorials you would like to see me create. And I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.